Tuesday morning, March 3rd, around two o'clock in the morning, we had a tornado sat down just west of Nashville at John C. Toon Airport. As you can see, the damage has been horrendous. The situation on the ground, what we've seen is the, the tornado that's, um, that's cut a swath about a half a mile wide through our city heading to the eastern part of Middle Tennessee. The fact that the tornado came through this urban area late at night after midnight, a lot of folks were home. The kids were home away from the schools. A lot of folks were not in the businesses. We've seen warehouses where many, many people work that are just flat and absolutely demolished. And if this tornado had happened a few hours earlier, there would have been a lot more folks that lost their life. There would have been a lot more injuries. It, it's scary. I mean, you wonder if you know someone that's hurt or if there's something that you can do. And, um, you know, it, it happened. I mean, there's an area that's roughly three miles from here that got hit. and. You know, th those areas are, are going to take a long time to recover. The primary challenge is, is access to the areas. Uh, the power companies come in and restore the areas first. So we obviously have uh, plenty of safety concerns to make sure our folks are safe when they come into the areas. And then also that we have good access where we can go in and assess what kind of damages we have. The network held up very well. We, uh, we primarily focus on uh, getting our cell towers back up and functioning that allows wireless data to be transmitted, it allows our first responders to use our network so that we can communicate. So that's been our first priorities. And then we prioritize our restoration efforts based on what we find in those assessments. I've seen AT&T get out there and there's charging stations that's put up and they're trying to get people's cell phones back on so they can let their families and everyone else know that they're you know out there and, and that they're okay. We had multiple cell sites down. We had central offices that were on generator power. We had over 50 RT sites that were down. Don't really know how many network elements we had lost just in cable and fiber alone. Uh, the cell site recovery within 24 hours was pretty amazing. We also stage a FirstNet sat colt truck here in Nashville at one of our locations. It was deployed on Tuesday morning early. It was set up and online in the Cookville area to provide FirstNet cell service. We called in additional sat colts. There's currently two deployed in the Putnam County uh, Cookville area, and we've got one on standby. I think getting out in your community and making a difference is what we all need to try to do. This is where, what I've seen through my career, where AT&T shines. This is where we have the best, uh, the best people, the best employees uh, of anywhere in the world. And when we respond to outages and disasters like this, this is where you really see everyone pull together. This is where you really see the, the strength behind a company like AT&T. We will rebuild this network and it'll be better than it was before because it's who we are and it's what we do. To learn more about AT&T, subscribe to this channel, visit the AT&T Newsroom, or watch more videos in the playlist seen here.